Welcome to creating air dry clay macarons or macaroons, depending on where you are from. First, I divide a packet of air dry clay into smaller sections. I believe there were six or seven smaller sections in that one packet. Choose your acrylic colours and add small amounts to your clay. Fold over, stretch out, fold over and repeat. It doesn't take that long to completely mix the colour and clay together. The colours tend to mute when mixed with the clay. If you want a more intense colour, add more paint. You can also mix your own colour. Here I've added red and yellow to create a beautiful orange. But I have to say that the mauve colour that I created with pink and blue acrylic is my absolute fave. Now I use plastic containers, plastic takeaway containers, containers that turn up with the sauces or condiments. Now I hate plastic being wasted, so it feels really good to recycle. And these are perfect for this activity. I ended up going through a couple of packets of air dry clay and creating about 12 different colours. You can create more or less depending on your ultimate need. See how muted and beautiful these colours can be. And you can make up multiple shades of the same colour, multiple intensities of the same colour. How beautiful do these look? So now it is time to make macaroons or macarons. Find a photo reference online. You'll need a base and a top with cream for the middle. Macarons have a textured side. So use whatever tools you have available. That could be toothpicks, pencils, lino tools. Everything is fair game. I even used a marker to roll my macarons. Now, acrylic paint is not the only way to colour air dry clay. You could use food colouring or coloured inks. In fact, you could use a variety of media, whatever suits you. But we found that with the acrylic paint, the different colour paints did not bleed into each other as they were drying. So now as you can see, I'm just having fun creating macarons using a variety of different colours. Once you have put together a variety of coloured macarons, let them dry overnight. I popped a tiny bit of glaze on the top to give that slightly shiny and smooth look once they had dried. They're such fun to make and really, really easy to prepare. Thank you for watching and have fun creating your own.